Hello there, Swiss Bohemian here. Um, I got a lot of parcels from Japan and like it's like a small Christmas present for myself and I wanted to show you some of these presents today. Pastel Yumi soundtrack from an old magical girl show from the 1980s by Studio Piero. It's in a good condition. It has a quite nice opening and ending and it's one of those shows from Studio Piero. Tonde Burin. That is also a Magical Girls show, this time from the 90s. This one I saw uh, I saw a little bit uh, on German TV. It's the show basically of a girl transforming into a, a pig. And I bought this one because um, I actually really like uh, the ending. It's a very strange rap song, if I remember it correctly. Okay, this one has a little bit of uh, pictures. Ton de Burin it is. On to the next one. Public Crisis, Scoop Chase. That's the soundtrack from the 8 OAV of Public Crisis. If you have never seen Public and Crisis, you should watch it. That's a, it's a great classic from the late 1980s, early 1990s. Public and Crisis, this time from the 7th OVA, Double Vision. This one has a really good ending song and the name is Never the End. Yes, this one, it's really good. These two now complete my uh, Bubblegum Crisis soundtrack collection. I have all of them now, plus the two uh, best of song collections. So uh, this is a soundtrack from a uh, rather unknown OAV called Desert Rose, Suna Nobara. And I really wanted this one because the anime has a special place in my heart. It takes place in Switzerland, actually, and my hometown is mentioned in the anime, which is really great. Sunanorabara. <laughs> it's also based on a, on a manga, originally, and it became an anime in 1994. You can watch it on YouTube in a rather bad quality, and I don't think it got a Western release. No, but there's another anime from the same author which got uh, a release in the United States and uh, the other anime is called Cleopatra. Unfortunately, there is no picture of the Swiss army general. His name is Heineken. I kid you not. Heineken. And he looks like Rambo. Sunanobara. On to the next one. Cowboy Bebop. No disc. Well, that's the title, but there is a disc inside. I hope so. Yes, there's a disc. So Cowboy Bebop, I don't need to present you Cowboy Bebop. It's a great classic from the late 90s. Really good music. I have the first soundtrack. I have the third one, the, the one with the blue cover, but I didn't have this one. Those are good. I hope you can see it well. This is a so-called Shitajiki. You might ask, what is uh, Shitajiki? 
Well, a shtajiki basically is a, a piece of plastic which you use uh, to put under the paper and it prevents you from, um, from like pressing when you write something on the paper that it gets on the sec second paper. So it's a kind of protection. Uh, they were quite common in the 1970s, uh, 1980s, 1990s. I'm not quite sure if they are still common these days. But I, I have a, a small collection of those shitajikis I can show you uh, in another video. Also, what's nice here with this shitajiki, by the way, it's also City Hunter in the back, um, it tells you the airtime when it uh, was on TV. So here it's written, Getsuyo Yoru Shiji. So it started, it started always on Monday evenings, starting from 7. And Kimagure Orange Road was from Monday evening, half past 7. It was broadcasted on TV. And that was, if I'm not mistaken, in 1987. So this is a 33 years old. Okay, on to the next one. I need to be careful here with the knife. I really don't want to damage anything in here. These are character sheets for the animators. They use these kind of reference sheets for uh, all the characters. So they are always aware how tall the characters are and other things like color, like expression. I'm really glad I got this one. And the anime is a place further than the universe. This is the story about four girls, high school girls who go to Antarctica. Oh, that is one of the older expedition members, like a kind of mentor for the girls. Same for her. One of the older members. You have like uh, the same pose here. And then on the right side, you have the most important expressions. The younger sister. She's like a, like a side character. Okay, now this is a Tamaki Mari. The main character. Okay, that's my favorite character by far. At Sinata. That's the girl who has this, uh, this fixed idea to go to Antarctica for personal reasons. I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, by the way, it's a really good show. You have to watch this. The sandals. I don't know why, but they focused here on the sandals. And here they included like a picture of, uh, of some snow goggles. You have even like really small side characters like uh, this person here. I can't even remember who's, who, which character that was. Well, probably uh, a crew member on the ship. And it's Tamaki Mari, the main girl. When you see this, you realize the amount of research Japanese do when they animate something. It's crazy. An overview about what is okay and what shouldn't be done, with the gloves especially. So, that was it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please uh, leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye bye.